Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Dave Rin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. This week's top five, the top five things snowboarding will teach you. Number five, kooks exist in everything. You'll learn that there's a lot of kooks in snowboarding, like that guy right there. He's a fucking kook. There's also another kook that'll probably push Amazon goggles on you. He's a kook too. There's kooks everywhere. For some reason, it doesn't matter. Nothing is kook free in this world. At all. Ever. Ever. Number four. Fear. It's good to scare yourself daily. And you should be doing that on your snowboard. You're going to have a lot of fear when you start. And then as you progress. And then as you get older. There's still going to be things that scare you. And you're probably going to do them on your snowboard. You might get injured, but that's all part of overcoming that fear. Snowboarding's a great tool for overcoming fear, in case you haven't realized that. I mean, let's think about this. We're sliding down the hill on frozen water on a piece of plastic and wood at a high rate of speed. Number three, love at any price or distance. Let's think about this. A lot of you guys are traveling to snowboard. You're dedicating a lot of time. You're putting a lot of financial resources into this, but you love it. I don't know what you're getting out of it in return, but you love it. This is love, unconditional love, and you're dumping a ton of money into it. Good for you, but it does teach you unconditional love. And that says something because I'm like incapable of love and snowboarding is literally the only thing I love. It's the only thing. Number two, perfection is an art form. No matter how good you are, there's always someone out there better than you. And no matter how good you get at snowboarding, there's always ways to perpetually perfect it. I view it a lot like playing golf. You can always make it better and you can always just try to perfect it. I suck at snowboarding, and I've been doing this for two-thirds of my life. I'm always trying to figure out how to make things better and just be more adaptive and just dial and everything, and as should you. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, there's probably something you're always working on to perfect on your snowboard. Honorable mentions, time management. Have you ever seen a weekend warrior? They are optimizing their time for everything. Snowboarding has definitely helped them with time management, 100%. Social interactions with morons. That person that pulls the restraint bar down and clocks you in the fucking head. That dumbass on rental skis stepping on your board. You're dealing with stupid people when you're out there snowboarding and it teaches you how to interact with them. Unless you're me, because then you just throat punch them. Just a solid just fist right in the throat. But for everyone else, it teaches them patience and how to deal with people that are mentally the equivalent of a sea sponge in the Great Barrier Reef as it dies. And the number one life lesson snowboarding will teach you, failure and humility. I mean, no one was good their first day snowboarding. No one. Not me, not you, not these two. Definitely not that dumbass on the t-shirt, because he's a fucking kook. No, no. It teaches you failure and how to pick yourself up and keep going. Because let's be honest, when you're at the top of the hill and you hook an edge and you scorpion and you're fucking about to die, you gotta pick yourself up and still keep on going to make it to the bottom. That right there is failure in motion and you're learning it. It also humbles you because no matter how good you are at something else, when you're just starting out, there's always people better and they're always riding around you and you're looking around going, holy fuck, These people are better than me. I really suck. If anything, it tells you that you're in the right lane and you're not living that left lane lifestyle. This has been my top five list of the life lessons snowboarding will teach you. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this top five. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And... If you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.